Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I wanted to get this video out just in case there's others who want to jump in and start early like I did. So I am working on a hashtag that me and one of my viewers decided to um, kind of do. Um, her name's A View is a View. I'm sure you guys have seen her like in your videos, comments, or live streams and stuff. She's really nice. So, the hashtag is going to be Bubbles Mythographic Challenge 2023. And the challenge is we are aiming to finish any mythographic book. So... The book I chose to finish is Voyage, and this one's by Joseph Cadenbay. So, so far I am working on two pages at once. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the challenge, and while I talk, um, I'm going to work finish working on this page here. So, with this challenge, the only real goal is to finish a mythographic coloring book so with that being said anyone can join in on this challenge beginners non-beginners um, really anyone if you feel like it's something that you want to do or something that you think you can do and even if it's something that you think you can't do and you want to try it, um, feel free to join in. I will put the hashtag at the bottom in the description so that you can, if you'd like, you can post your progress, your finished pages, your whips, um, and use that hashtag so that I can see them. Or so that really anyone can see them as long as they use the hashtag to search. And you can use that hashtag in on Instagram. Um, as well as Facebook. We have a Facebook group if you haven't joined that yet. And if you would like to join the Facebook group to post, make sure that you answer the group um, questions. And agree to the rules as well so um you can pick any one of the mythographic books it doesn't have to be your favorite one it can be your least favorite it can be one that you just want to finish and you know say hey i finished this one it's not necessarily my favorite but it's one that i want to finish um, you know, it can be one that you just absolutely can't stand, but you bought it and you want to say you finished it so that, you know, you didn't waste your money. Whatever reason you want to finish it, um, is okay. And if you want to finish more than one, if you're feeling adventurous, go ahead and do that. Uh, that's fine too. As long as you finish at least one. And the hashtag is, you know, it has the 2023. But um, I know I probably, if, if I'm lucky, I might. But I probably won't finish the entire book in a year. I mean, maybe if I'm like, you know, just knocking out pages, maybe. But, um... If I need to extend the hashtag, then of course the following year would be the same hashtag with just a different year at the end of it. It's not like a crazy challenge where, you know, you have to finish it, um, you know, by the end of next year or anything like that. It's just, um, I mean, there's no easy challenge by any means because these books are pretty detailed so you know it's no easy challenge but if 
you do finish it in a year, then that's a really great, you know, it would be a really great feeling, I think. Um, you can use any medium. You don't have to stick to one. So if you are, you know, wanting to test a medium on a page, you can do that. And if you found a medium that you like, in, you know, that works well in the book for you and you want to use that throughout the whole book, that'll be like a challenge within itself. If you just want to do the whole thing in alcohol markers, you can, that's fine. If you want to do the whole thing in pencil, that's fine. Mixed media, whatever you want to use to complete the book, you can use it. Um, you can go as slow as you want. You can go as fast as you want. If you want to make it a super crazy challenge and try to finish all the mythographic books in the year, that would be crazy, but you can do it if you want. Um, what else? You don't have to, let's say you start one, but you changed your mind and you want to finish another book. You decide, you know, you don't really like any of the pages you don't see yourself finishing that book. Even if you already started and you already chose your book and you want to change your book along the way, you can do that. That's fine. The only real goal is to finish at least one. So if you change your book five times during the, the course of this, that's okay. Um, and do use the hashtag to post your progress. I do want to see you know, what books you guys are choosing. You can use the hashtag for that if you just want to show like, hey, this is the book I, I'm, I'm working on. Uh, and maybe you don't want to show it until it's finished, but you just want to show off which book you're using. That's cool. Use the hashtag for that. Because I'm sure, you know, everyone has their favorites. I was going through mine and I realized that most of the ones I like are by Joseph. I do have some by Fabiana but those aren't really my favorites compared to his so naturally I ended up choosing my favorite one by him and that's the one that I'm choosing to complete um I know one of my viewers said she was choosing one that she didn't really like so that she has motivation to finish it, which is also a good idea. And, you know, just throughout, I think, the month, the rest of the month, I'm going to flip through the ones that I have. For those of you who do want to join and the challenge, but don't have any of the books yet, or don't have all the books and is looking to purchase, some more maybe i have one that you might want um so i'll just have some flip throughs on my channel available so that you can see there's also um i'm sure the, for the ones i don't have i'm sure there's plenty of flip throughs on youtube you can just kind of flip through youtube and see which ones are you know, interesting to you, I would suggest, if you don't have one, I would suggest checking out flip throughs because they are all very different from each other. Um, the artists themselves have different art styles from each other as well. So before you buy, I would suggest checking out a flip through. And then that way you can, if you are deciding to finish one of your favorites, you know what the pages look like. You can, you know, you know what to expect when you get your book. Or you can even skip all the flip throughs and just pick a book at random. If you just want another like challenge within itself, pick a book at random and just like, hey, I'm going to complete this one regardless on if I like it or not, because... I have to choose one at random. That's also a cool little challenge within itself. Um, so if, if you know you are 
wanting to work on this challenge and you find, okay, I, I don't have the mojo for this. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna complete this. This isn't working. That's okay too, because there is not really a time limit on this challenge. Um, you can time limit yourself, but there's not really um, a time limit on it. So don't think that, you know, you can't complete it or you don't know if you'll complete it in time or you don't know if you'll have enough time. If you want to take part in the challenge and you want to take 15 years to do it, go ahead and do it. Just remember, you know, the hashtag and remember to use the hashtag so we know, okay, you're still working on that challenge. You didn't give up, you know, which is good because it's a lot. I think it's a lot better if you work on the challenge and, you know, don't give up and just go at your own pace, which is why I said, you know, um, you can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want. You don't, I don't want you to feel like you have to rush because I'm not rushing. Um, I am going to work on it a lot, but I'm definitely not rushing. I am, I consider myself one of the slower colors in the community. So, um, my pages, I take forever on my pages. So, it's okay if you, you know, you color slow or if you're working on other things and you, you know, you want to work on those and finish those challenges or whatever else it is you're working on. That's okay. You can work on this alongside all of that. Um, also, throughout me working on this, I think I'm going to post occasional videos of me working on pages um, occasional live streams with me working on completing my book. And again, anyone can join, even if, you know, you, if you have your own channel and you want to post your, uh, post videos of you working on it, um, I'm going to attempt to learn how to tag a few channels because I think, um, there's a couple like, um, T's Adult Coloring, I would love to see her tackle this challenge um candace colors um there's there's a few uh jojo jo jojo zohanna johanna <laughs> uh, i i'd like to see her take on this as well so there's there's a few um you know people that i'd like to see take on this challenge i don't really know how to tag channels i think i've done it probably once before but I'd have to remember how I did it um look at some kind of video or something to learn how to do it but even if you don't have a channel and you're just a viewer that's cool take on the challenge everybody's welcome you know I'm not shutting anyone out everyone's welcome I want to see everybody's take on this I think it will be a cool little challenge because the problem, I think, and, and this is another reason why I came up with this challenge. I have so many of these books and only like a few pages colored out of each one. And I'm like, every time these books come out, I'm like, ooh, I want the next one. Especially with Joseph's. I'm like, I want the next one. I want the next one. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. And then I get it. I'll do like one or two pages. And then I'm like, oh, another one's coming out. Okay, I want it. I want it. I want it. And I'm like, okay. Enough's enough with that. So I think if I complete one, I can feel a little bit better. Like, okay, at least I finished one. I can justify buying another. So I think, you know, we all kind of, I won't say suffer, but we all have that, you know, we're going to keep buying them, keep buying them, keep buying them, and then don't color a lot out of them. So... I think that's another good reason. You know, if you're looking for an excuse to complete this challenge, that's a good excuse right there, I think. And also, you, because you're working to complete the book, the entire book is a whip. So if you want to work on multiple pages at once, go for it. That is literally what I am currently doing. I have three pages I'm working on at the same time right now. Um, and that's okay because I consider the whole book a whip. 
because I have to complete the whole book anyway. So if I just want to go through the whole book or if you just want to go through the whole book and do all the backgrounds first for each page, do it. And then come back and, you know, if you just want to color a certain element on a certain page for that particular day, do it. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that in any of your books, really. But um, more specifically speaking with this challenge, do it. Why not? Who's going to stop you? It's your book. It's, you know, there's no real rules to this challenge other than completing at least one book. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to do it that way, go for it. And like I said, any medium, like um, for this one so far, I've used alcohol markers. I've used um, Derwent Light Fast. I'm going to add probably some um, neo colors maybe to the background, some sparkles. And then this other page that I'm working on. And my book is slowly but surely falling apart. So if it starts to fall apart even more, then I'll probably find some kind of square binder to put it in. Um, this one, this one's got a lot of stuff going on. It's got acrylic marker, um, acrylic paint pen, I'm sorry, alcohol marker, colored pencils. I used polychromos in here. And this is a whip. It's not even finished yet. Um, there's gold um, gel pen. There is Holbein's in here as well. Um, I had picked out some colors from the Caran uh Pablo. So there's going to be Pablo's in here. Probably some, um, what do you call these things? Sorry for sticking my arm in there. Some Nouveau, Nouveau um, crystal drops. So, and then also I have another whip back here. So I've got the marker base down. I just need to do the shading and also the background. But the reason why I say go as fast or as slow as you want, Joseph's is really detailed. He has a lot of stuff going on in a lot of his and I'm already a slow colorist, so you know it's gonna it's gonna take a while, especially if you want it to look nice. So I would suggest taking your time, but of course you can go as fast as slow as you want, and add whatever you want. If you want to add sparkles, you know, if you want to add glitter, you can add washi tape, anything that you want to add to your pages, go for it because these are one-sided in all the mythographic books they're all one-sided so add what you want um just be careful i don't know how water works very well i think it works okay if you don't use a lot because i used my um albrick doers in one of the pages in wild winter and it buckled a little bit but since it's been on my um my shelf with my other books it's back flat so i think water is fine as long as you don't overdo it um you know it's, it's a free canvas for you as long as you can complete the book and also i think i'm going to like add in every now and then like some little color challenges i'll pick a page i'll pick one of these at random and just you know be like oh okay i'm gonna do this this challenge within itself is what I like what I was speaking of earlier. So I hope you guys all join in. And I wanted to thank you really quick for joining in. If you are joining in, let me thank you ahead of time and have fun with it. You know, make it yours. And I hope to see finished books and finished pages and whips and everything else with my hashtag and i will see you guys in the next video and if you enjoyed watching this one please leave a like and comment down below if you are thinking about joining in this challenge with me all right guys see you in the next video have a good day